Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. The ultimate fight is within. Fellas, I'm going to tell you what, man. This is, for, this is for all the men, all the men listening, right? I know there's a, a like, a, especially in this sector of YouTube, and, you know, whether it's in the black manosphere, the overall manosphere, whatever, there's, you know, a lot of things about what the women are doing, what certain classes of men are doing, or, you know, depending on how far you expand, uh, what, you know, certain races of people are doing. But I'm going to tell you what, though, man. And I've said this before. This is this is one of those messages that y'all going to hear, like, maybe once every six months. Because... And it's a reminder for every single man, women too, but you know, it's mostly men who listen on this channel. And the nature of a man is to ultimately be a warrior, you know, and to fight your lower self, or at least get it under control. That's the real battle. You know, in ancient Kemet, you know, when they had the, you know, the Sphinx, what did that represent? They had the head of a man and the body of a beast, right? Every single person fights the beast within. Every single person fights their lower instincts. And that's the greatest battle a man can face. Not that outer man, but his inner man. And it's not always like that beast is like just some wild, rough thing. Sometimes that beast is a fraidy cat. Sometimes you got to fight that. You know, or scared or nervous, have anxieties. Sometimes you got to fight that. Or you know, lack of character. You got to fight that. You know, the greatest battle is that person, you know? I mean, I actually had that, uh, I actually, had, there was a short story I wrote years ago. It was like one of my unpublished stuff. I think I'm, it's like, once again, I got about a ton of stuff. Just as an aside, any writer will always have a ton, no matter how much they publish, there's always a ton of stuff they didn't publish, right? But part of the story was, a character having a dream where he was fighting another aspect of himself, his darker aspect, right? And in fact, that's a, a really, that's a staple in many stories, many epic stories, where someone is fighting their mirror opposite. I mean, you can see it in adventure cartoons, you can see it in, uh, in like popular movies, right? Like there was a scene in Empire Strikes Back, which, uh, is arguably the greatest Star Wars movie ever, ever, right? There was a scene where uh, Luke Skywalker was on the planet, uh, whatever the name of that planet, I ain't that big a Star Wars fan, I couldn't tell you that planet. I'm, I'm quite sure one of my uh, supporters could tell me what planet that was, but he was with Yoda and they came across this tree that had the dark side of the force, right? And, you know, Luke was like, what's in there? And Yoda was like, whatever you bring with you, right? So he went in there, saw Darth Vader, he struck him down, and all of a sudden the face mask came off and it was really him. That meant what it represented was his own fears, right? That's what he had to fight. He had to fight his own fears. You know, ultimately, every man has to fight that. When we talk, I mean, on this uh, channel, we talk about relationships. A lot of times, that fight ain't with, really with Pookie and Ray, right? That fight is not with Pookie and Ray Ray. It's with yourself. Whatever is within yourself who thinks the fight is with Pookie and Ray Ray. See, a lot of times when people don't really fight that inner thing that's preventing them from getting what they want, they look outside of themselves. They'll say, hey, if those people just change or something. No, you're just projecting what's inside you over there. Understand that. You're projecting that. But if you, if you can go inward and deal with that fight within, fight that beast, tame the beast. You don't have to kill the beast now, because there's another part to this. But if you can tame that beast, you can ride it wherever. Because that's the, that's the ultimate thing a man has to do. And see, part of that fight is willpower. You can, can you control your impulses? You know, a lot of times people say, well, I'm this and I'm that, but you, you haven't controlled that fear. Your lower self is still running stuff. You know, that instinctual stuff. You know, you haven't controlled it. And see, just because you have it repressed, some people try to repress it, think they have it controlled. That's repression. Control it means you ride it. And sometimes you got to fight it. 
you gotta fight you gotta get those gloves on or get the knives whatever and that's something you can do that's a that's a little exercise a little mental exercise you know fight the beast within like i said that's shit that's that's a common story jekyll and mr hyde the incredible hulk shoot even the uh, super villain things <laughs> superman and lex luthor they are just that fight taken to you know it's put in a story form but it ultimately represents the fight within so I want y'all to do that. I want y'all to really think about that. What is within you? Not the outside world. See, here's the here's the thing. Let me let me let me get a little deep with y'all, right? The outside world is nothing. Everything in life is how you respond to it. You know? Everything. Everything. I don't care what they doing, how you respond to it. Now I know people say, well, that person doing this, that ain't that's crazy, Ram. And say, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is, let me give you an example, right? I've had people, I've had like even like uh, people who who follow me, right? They'll say, well, you know, if I go in this neighborhood, they'll beat me up or something, right? The thing they got to fight or worry about fighting is not that person outside of them or the people that might potentially attack them, but the thing inside of them that has that fear. And that fear is... You know, anybody who watched that Justice League movie, which wasn't that bad, you know, that fear thing was a big thing. You know, those uh, these little insect-looking demons in there, you know, they were drawn by someone uh, emanating fear, right? So it's like if somebody wants to do that, like you go through a rough neighborhood, right? And you giving off like a fear thing and you nervous and stuff, guarantee you get robbed. Guarantee, I will guarantee it because predators, they look for the weak anyway. That's how it is in nature. The lion don't go for the strongest uh, antelope or buffalo. When they hunting, they looking for the straggler. They looking for the weak one, you know. For those for those who play the game dirty, the relationship game dirty, you ain't looking for that strong-minded sister. <laughs> you looking for that low sister. You looking for that low sister. You know, you're looking for that sister with low self-esteem. You know, you're looking for that sister with low self-esteem. You're looking for that sister who, uh, you know, isn't making that much money, who might be fighting through depression and everything. That's what you're looking for, right? You're looking for that, All right? You ain't looking for the strong, right? So if you're a man... You got you worried about people coming at you and stuff. The thing is, don't worry about carrying a gun or anything. A lot of, a lot of people dying because of cowards out there. They worry about the outside. You worry about the inside. Professionally, professionally. You know, one of my one in one hundred one thousand one jobs. I was an investigator. I used to have served. I used to serve subpoenas to armed drug dealers in their neighborhoods, in their homes and stuff. Sometimes with guns pointed at me, but never had any problems. Never, never had any problems because there was no fear in me. And I walked. They just took one look at me, say, you know, we don't want to mess with this brother. <laughs> we just take that. We just take the subpoena and make it easy on everybody, <laughs> you know. But that's because well, I learned very early in life to deal with the fear within me. So that's not one thing I worry about. Now, I got other issues to deal with, but that's not one of them, right? But that's what everybody has to do. They, every single man got to look at himself. Look at himself. You know, that's why I do the books the way I do. That's why it's all about self-improvement. Yeah, we, we can point out whatever women doing or whatever, you know, some, you know, lower, less evolved men are doing. But ultimately, ultimately, the change got to come from us. And it got to come from within. So... Anyway, y'all want to win that fight. Your higher self, the rational self, needs to win that fight. All right? The character, your character has to win that fight. So, anyway, that's it for today, y'all. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace and blessings.